Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I want to show you something that is absolutely mind blowing and changing the history of art as we know it. It's called Mid Journey. It's an AI and it creates any kind of image from just normal language. A photo, a 3D rendering, a sketch, a painting, whatever you want. You just write it and the AI makes it for you. Now today, I want to talk about how this works. I want to talk about the artistic applications, the artistic implications, how I plan to use this AI. I also will show you tricks on how to get these amazing results in seconds with ease. And also you can join me tomorrow in my live stream where we will use this together. You can suggest any kind of topic to me that I can enter into the AI and we will see what it creates from that. So let's get started here first with the community feed where you see the most amazing works. All of this has been created by the AI. For example, here is a beautiful rendering of a guy in a suit looks amazing. Here we have the famous wave of Hokusai reimagined and burning really, really beautiful. Then over here we have a design of a violin that is half violin and half ivory. You can see here's a sketch, for example, there is a sticker design. You can also do these kind of designs, tarot card designs, I would say. Here we have other art. And you can see how versatile this is. You just enter whatever it is. Oh, by the way, I just want to point out that this AI is very addicting. You will spend hours upon hours upon hours trying different commands, creating variations, looking at what others are doing, talking with them about the perfect commands and prompts to use. This is just so much fun. And you're always amazed about what the AI is creating with your ideas. Now let's talk first about how this actually works. It's very simple. It works on Discord. You go over here, you sign up to the Mid Journey channel on Discord, and then you get a free trial and you can use it for 25 image renderings. Now, when you enter something, it will show you four pictures. These count as one picture, as one suggestion by the AI. So these 25 images are actually 25 minutes of GPU time. You go on here, there's a trial support that you can use. You can ask any kind of questions. When you want to use the AI, you need to go into one of these newbie rooms here. Click down here to that bar where you can write messages and then write slash. EM and it already suggests you imagine you can click on that and inside of this prompt box you can write any text you want. For example, classic landscape painting. To get the aspect ratio, type minus two times, then AR, then make a space and write the ratio like this. Now it starts to render. It's kind of hard to find because everything here is moving fast. It will pop down to the lowest part. It takes a couple of seconds and then here you have your result. You can see it has a background that is a little bit orange here to find it easier, but still it's kind of hard to find because so many people create new images. When we click on that, you can see we have four beautiful variations of that classic landscape painting. Now below that you can see you have buttons here. The U stands for upscale. So you get a high resolution version of that. It goes like this one, two, three, four. Then V is for variation. So when you click on this, you say, for example, I want to have more variations of the second one. You click on V2 and it creates four more variations that are starting with this image. And if you don't like any of them at all, you can click here on this icon and it will recreate the same prompt for you and make four completely fresh variations. Now, all of this gets a lot easier once you have a paid subscription, because then you can simply go to your own chat room with the bot and there you have only your creations. Now, if you want to subscribe, I really, really suggest to you that you use the $30 per month option. That sounds like a lot, but what you get is 
if you go into relax mode, you can make unlimited images. I have created hundreds of images yesterday. I spent the full day just playing around with the AI and it is really amazing. You can do variations, you can do upscales and it doesn't take any of your CPU time. I know $30 a month is a lot, but on the other hand, you're saving a lot of money and time on other things that the AI is creating for you. So it's really a question of how much is it worth to you? And by the way, I'm not related in any way to them. There is no affiliate link or anything. So I don't make any money from that. I just find this is a really amazing thing. So what about the implications? Does AI replace the artists? Do you still need to learn how to paint and do 3D art and do photo shootings and make all these kind of costumes and jewelry and stuff like that? Kind of yes, because what the mid journey AI gives you is pretty random and it is trained mostly on this kind of concept art and this kind of 3D rendering style and you never get specifically what you want. So you can enter something and the AI will give you a certain variation that looks pretty amazing, but it is never what you specifically want and you can't change in the variation with additional commands what the AI should change about it. Another thing that is very common with AI, for example, when you look at this here, you think you see Ganesha sitting there, but actually there is no Ganesha. It just kind of looks like it. So with a lot of AI renderings, you feel like you're in a dream where you think you see something, but you don't really see it. It's just a hint. It's just suggested that it is there. Here we have another example. You think you see a woman standing in a field of flowers with some butterflies on the sky. But when you look closely, are those flowers? Not really. Are those butterflies? Not really. Is this actually a woman? Well, she doesn't have an arm and the right shoulder is missing and this looks like hair, but actually no. And this looks like a hat, but not really a hat. So there is all these subtle mistakes where it kind of looks like it is something awesome and it is a really great source of inspiration. And if you're okay with that randomness, you can absolutely use that in your artwork. But at the end of the day, if you really want to get a result that you want to have that is specific to your imagination, to your artistic expression, you have to still do it yourself. This is also another point. The AI will create the style for you and you can do a lot of experimentation. But if you want to have something like this, it's really beautiful. But then if you want to have a car in the same style and the building in the same style and the dog in the same style, that's where it becomes complicated because the AI can't follow that idea. The AI will create a different kind of style for each of these images. So at the end, you're ending up with a ton of different art styles that are never really the same of what you actually wanted unless you stick with one specific topic and just make a million variations and choose the best from them. What are the applications that I plan to use it for on my channel and in my artistic work? Here are some examples. You can do studio backdrops. Again, it is not really what you see. It just hints at being a golden background with some flowers in there, but at the same time, it's very beautiful. And I kind of like that it is this kind of dream quality that makes you think you see something, but it's not actually there. It makes it more meta. It makes it more artistic. It makes it really interesting. And it gives you a chance to create these backdrops that any other way either would be very hard to do. You would need to be very skilled to do that, or it would be probably at the same time, very expensive to do these things. Imagine I built this in my room and actually photograph it or learn how to 3D render this. That would be very, very complex to do. Another thing is outfits, costumes like this. You can create this with Mid Journey instead of suing that 
outfit yourself and get all the materials and maybe hire an artist you can do it like that of course you don't get any kind of body poses but you can use this and maybe shape that in affinity photo or in other software into the shape you actually need it for the model you want to photograph so you take a real photo and a fake outfit and combine them together as a beautiful result i want to experiment with that and see how far that can go here is another example of a room that you can use as a backdrop and then put a real person in there or do some other amazing things with Affinity Photo. You have seen me in the past creating these composites in my live streams. I want to do that again more, but with the AI, I can create backdrops that are more specific to what I need rather than spending hours on searching for the right images. I can just create them myself now. So that is pretty amazing. And of course, still, this takes a lot of time and effort to get these results. So it's not like entering and a second later you have the perfect result. And again, as you can see here, it looks like something, but at the same time, it's nothing. So I still need to do a lot more learning and experimentation with it. But the application is very powerful. Here's another example. This is almost a photorealistic situation of a portrait and this is something i really want to try where i create this with the ai and then replace the model because i found that the ai is really good at making these scenes with the outfit with the headgear with the decorations with the bokeh in the background instead of rendering them individually i just render them as a portrait with the person and then edit the person out afterwards let's see how that works i have a model come by today and we will try to do that here are other applications imagine how long it would take for me to sue all of this especially i can't even sue how would i do that you know but with the ai i can do that and then replace the model in the middle with a real person so there's a lot of application here's some more creepy stuff i really like that style look at how realistic that hat decoration here is golden really beautiful also the face decorations all that kind of stuff again i can cut that out put that on an actual model play with this but again if you look at this and to be honest i really enjoy that you look at the decoration, it looks some kind of mystical, religious decoration that you think you have seen somewhere, but you don't because when you look at the shapes, it's, it's really nothing. There is nothing in there, but at the same time, it's beautiful and it's different than we as humans would do it. I really enjoy that. Here's another example of a headgear of a crown that is presented on a black silk cushion or velvet cushion i have asked the ai to do it like that so i can cut that out and maybe put that afterwards onto a model so you can see there's a lot of very very interesting applications now i want to show you a trick on how you can get better results faster in mid journey without having to spend ages to learn all the different commands and really get amazing results from the get-go here is the trick. Search any of these images that you really like. Let's say this one. Then go here on these three dots and say open in Discord because all of the images you see here, they are publicly created. So click on open in Discord and it will guide you directly to where this has been created. The good thing here is you get the complete prompt with all of the other informations in here. This one doesn't have one, but down here, this one has a lot. For example, you can see it says stylized 4000, for example, and other information to that. So you can simply copy that over to your own room, to your own interaction with the AI, and you can try to see if you get similar results. So for example, this outfit is from a prompt that I found on the community page. I simply copied that prompt over and it created different versions for me. And then I can simply upscale one of them and I can make more variations of them. So with that, you have a really big chance to get very amazing results in a very short time. And you can see there's a lot to choose from and there is more coming 
every minute, every second. Personally, I'm planning on using this a lot because it has a huge potential because I think this is also the future of how artists will work. And at the same time, this is very inspirational to improve your own skill because here I can very quickly prototype and think about different kind of ideas, different kind of styles, and then maybe create that myself or combine that with real models or edit in real other elements from actual photos that I have taken and make a composite out of that. So the potential for this is endless. And I would say that money and time you save is well worth the 30 bucks, especially for me, because I'm doing this professionally. I hope I could inspire you. Join me tomorrow in the live stream where we will play together with this AI. I will enter the prompts that you suggest to me and we will see what we get from that. And next week, I'm going to show you my first artistic portrait that is made with a real person and the help of the AI. I am absolutely looking forward to that. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.